Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I have got a quandary. I did the dumbest thing. I did the dumbest thing. You ready for this? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I don't know what I'm going to sell, but we're going to sell something. Don't have any little stuff this morning. Good morning. Let me see who's in the house. Hello there. Hello there. Good morning. Good morning. Four weeks from today. Yes, four weeks from today. Hey, Teak Stack is four weeks from today. If you, if you are local or within like a hundred miles and you want me to send you a pack of cards, like you're getting on your boxes to set around to help me advertise, please let me know and I will send you some, okay? We're getting down to the nitty gritty. And um, you guys know I live in um, a town of 800. So any help I would appreciate from anywhere. Revive it, sisters. I mean, I would love it if you could uh, give us a plug or maybe even, um, I, I don't know, you tell me. I need help promoting things locally. So if you are if you are in um, you know close proximity and you would like to get a pack of cards, maybe 20 of them or so, just to carry around. I carried some around yesterday and I handed some out to some people that I thought might be interested. Um, yeah, let me know and I'll send you a pack of cards so that you can uh, Heather, yeah. Um, so that you can pass them out. Um, and like I said, it's get, getting down to the nitty gritty now. So I really have to focus on promoting. So I would love it if any of the channels watching could let, could give us a plug. Um, you know, maybe if you want to call me in for five minutes to promote it, I would love that. Um, what, what else, you know, just different ideas. This week is going to be big because we have Trudy Saturday. We have George on Sunday. Mike is going to be on next week. Um, Eileen is going to bring in Serena. So um, it's going to be a busy week promoting on Facebook, but uh, you can share. Okay, great, great. Um, you want to see the dumb thing I did? Tell me nobody's ever did this and how to, how, how to fix the situation. Are you ready for this? This is the dumbest thing that I could have done. This is a dumb ass moment. It stuck. Is that not irresponsible and stupid that I did that? Is that? <laughs> I did that. Now, what do I do? Do I sell this as a lot and you guys figure it out? Because right now I have no patience for this. Sometimes. <laughs> Let me clean my glasses and we're going to get started. Oh, my God. I told you. I told you. I do some stupid things sometimes. I'll, I don't know. I thought it would slip right out of there this morning. And I. Tr I <sighs> it is stuck. I amaze myself. I do things like that. I don't know why. I tell myself before I even do it, uh, Rosie, don't do that. You're going to have problems with that. And right now we have problems with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right now we got an issue. Okay. Dish soap. I'm going to take it into John and he's going to shake his head. He's just going to shake his head. See it as a, you know what? I think I'm going to sell it as a lot and let someone else worry about it. We'll, we'll put it up here. I'm unpacking a couple of box. Here. Oh, look at this beautiful little bunny. Let's see. 
It'll be a first in internet land. Oh, look at the violet. Okay. So we have a mini bunny, blasted violet, blasted violet, or rose satin. And let's, what the heck, let's start here. Let's start here and move on. It's a Fenton, it's a Siamese Fenton piece. <laughs> They're connected. <laughs> here we go. So you're going to get either one of those. Let me adjust my camera. I got, I tried something new again. $10 for choice. And let me get my music up here. This is $10 for choice. We'll get started here. I was gone all day yesterday. I did not get home till eight o'clock last night. So it's like, I don't have anything straightened up here. Whoops. And uh, so it, it is going to be what it is going to be this morning. Okay, I got my music. We do have. Maybe she'll get it in the Fenton book for rarities and oddities. <laughs> it's a rarity. I will put it up as choice here, or I will put it up. You can buy it and deal with it yourself. It's a twofer. Here we go. So far, I haven't heard one of you say, I do dumb things like that too. I mean, you think you'd make me feel better and say, I do dumb things like that too, but no, I'm going to see where my tape measure is. She'll be right out here. About three inches tall. $15 Swifty. Aren't they cute? Thank you to Eileen for, for hosting yesterday. Big thanks out to her. Um, I was out getting a Stife collection. So we'll put a few pieces of Stife. Uh, in the auction with uh, George on Sunday night. Let me get the timer up here. And we have 17 first with Kim Allen. You'll get your choice of the darn blasted violet or the sanded rosebud. I think I said it was 17 with Kim Allen. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, it's a lost cause with me now. I'm 59, officially 59 years old. I'm going to have to be this way the rest of my life. I, I can't change. I just do dumbass things. I just do. <sighs> and we have about five seconds left. There's Serena. Serena will be on a week from today at prime time. She is going to be coming to Teak Stock, so we're having her on too, so you can get, well, you know Serena, but uh, she's coming on. You got two large hobnail baskets locked together last fall. God darn it. All right. So Serena's going to be on. They're going to have a crystal and, uh, uh, what, what do you call that show, Serena? They had one last month, and they're going to have one next Friday. Yeah, she's so excited. And uh, it's going to be a nice, it was a good show the first time they had it. Happy. I think you're the winner at 19. Uh, it goes happy and uh, Kim Allen. So happy. Let us know. Violet. Takes the blasted violet one. All right, Kim, would you like the pink? It's pretty. I like, they both kind of glow. They're pretty. I like them like this. Uh, the bunny. And I have no place to put this because I still have the carnival sale here. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Um, and Kim wants the pink one. Number two. It's tough to have a birthday week. You get behind. Kim Allen, number two, a pink bunny. Okay. 
what was I going to do next? Oh, make sure I got stickers on those. I have got this purple shoe. Let me go see if I got another shoe. Now that one has a Fenton logo on it, and I don't know if it's Fenton. So it may be, this may be Mosser. I don't know. They started doing the shoe. And I don't know if they kept the logo on it or not, but I'm going to sell it as, as Fenton, but it may be Mosser. Um, you're going to get your choice of the Fenton, the, the Black Praying Child, or the Carnival Praying Kid. And we'll start these at $10. And that's for choice. So this is the Carnival one. This is the Black. And we have the, it's kind of like an eggplant. And here we go. And next up, we will sell the first ever joined Fenton piece ever sold. Miss Dora's in the house. I saw her yesterday. Hi, Dora. God, it was good to see you. $12 with Dora. You'll get your choice. Now, these are separate. The carnival or the, the black or the eggplant shoe, 13 Charlotte. Blue and purple children really creep you out. I have to agree. No, they're pretty. They're pretty. They're praying. 13 with Charlotte. This will be for choice. 14 with Dora. And let's go ahead and put the timer on. Three time blocks, and then we'll get back to business here. So this is our second time to one. Charlotte Crow is in at 15. Better get choice. Back up, we'll get second. Fifteen. I've got some stupid antivirus stuff coming up here. So I got to click that off. Okay, we're all set again. I'm right on time. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Charlotte Crow, followed by Dora. You go, Charlotte. Let me know which ones you want. The shoe? Okay. Dora, did you want one? It's a good price. Hi, Deb Vines. Either one of those. That's okay. Lurkers are fine. Lurkers are absolutely fine. All right. Anybody want any of those? Up for grabs. You never know. You might. You. Uh, I think they're cute. I don't know what I was going to say. The, the carnival one is just gorgeous. I don't know if you saw the color here. Look at look at uh, how pretty this color is on this one. The price is 15. Look at the color on this. 
that is that it, it that's got exceptional color and then you got the black black onyx one fifteen dollars if anybody wants those And we will do one more time blocked. I had a swan here somewhere and I don't know where I stuck it. Anybody want any one of those? The price is 15. Hang on a second, I must have set it down. I must have set it down. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to think if I can give you a break. That carnival one is beautiful. I'm I I don't want to. If somebody wants the black one, I'll do 13, but I'm sticking it with 15 on the carnival one. She's so pretty. So just let me know as we move on. The color is just gorgeous. Okay. Let's do the swan. So um. Somebody was asking the difference between the glowy custard or this type of custard look. Now, Cameo Satin is a very soft glass. It doesn't glow, but it's very, um, it's, it's a very soft feel glass. And this is probably from the 70s. It's signed D. Palmer. And it is just gorgeous. So we're going to put up the Swan in Cameo Satin or the beautiful blue compote. And this will be for choice. And we'll start these at $10. Trudy has some gorgeous pieces for Saturday night. Yes, she does. Ah. All right, $10 to start them. I'll show you over here. They're beautiful. I don't know if that's a fuzzy picture or not. It looks pretty good on my end. The Cameo Opal Swan or the Compote, a tweet tweet like the swan, yes. I literally haven't been out here in two days and I can't find anything. Oh, $10 and here we go. Last time lot, we'll sell at least one. $10 with Susan. Oh, and last time I was out here, I had the tape measure. John gave it to me, and I set it down somewhere. Unless he took it back. He could have took it back. Ooh. The compote is six inches tall. How's that? In blue opal. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 11 with barbrickle. I love the nappies too. We're always looking for more nappies. If you see them out there, maybe the mouse took it. I know it's crazy because I had that choice sale and then I was out here with the carnival sale and I got to work out here today. I got a mess. I, I, I'm just going to be honest with you. I got a mess. $12 with Susan, 14 with Mel Bro. Hi, Mel. Don't get choice. Thirteen with Barb, and we're going to go ahead and do the timer. Oh, here it is. Timer and out. The preview pictures are gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. She's got a big pink feather vase that I think is a foot tall. Bonnie, I I suppose I can hold it for you. Here we go. 13. I'll sell at least one. Up and up and up she goes. $13 is all that's on there. <clears throat> you don't know if I'll sell it or not, do you? 
15 with Nancy Eldred. All right, Cindy. Okay, I'll, I'll mark you down. Ooh, three of you tried to do 16. The winner is Sherry Bax. Sherry, let me know. Cindy Templeton is going to take the praying kids. Four and five. Number four is the black one. Number five is the carnival. Number four, I said 13. And number five, I said 14 or 15. Okay, got it. And um, okay, Sherry is going to take both. That's easy. Uh, Sherry Bex. Number six, which is going to be the compote. And number seven, which is the swan. And let's go up and see. Okay. No more timer. No more timer. I'm going to do it. I'm going to sell that, that menagerie. I'm not messing with this. You can, you can, we know the Rose Bowl glows. We know it'll come out of there. We know. And then we have the green basket. First time, make sure you take a screenshot. You're never going to see it again. Hopefully, probably not. Maybe with me. I don't know. I'm going to start it at 20. No more timer. I know it'll come apart. I just know I'm not going to be able to have time to do it. So I can pack it. If it comes apart when I'm packing it, you got a, you got a twofer. So you got the little um, seven inch basket. And the glowy, the glowy, this is Mary Gregory style. So you're getting a glowy rose bowl and the basket. And here we go. No more timer. You can do it. I know you can. I, I don't have the patience for it. It'll sit out here for six months. The only one ever sold on YouTube. Keep it like it is. It's a one of a kind for sure. A little rosy mishap here for your Friday morning. It's unique. I can give you that. It's unique. It's unique to... Sometimes. I'm just saying. It's kind of Christmassy looking, yeah. You can put a tea light in anything and make it look good, right? It's a work of art. Maybe I maybe I should claim doing this on purpose. I don't know. I do know it's one of a kind the way it is. All right, and the basket does have the original pull tag. And um, the Rose Bowl is a glowy Rose Bowl. It will glow cadmium. Good morning, Geneva. 32 with Julianne. Just let me know when you're out. 33 with Deb Fines. Thirty-five with Dawn. Stay there. Thirty-six with Julianne. Julianne.
Diane, do you have a do you have a different uh, name for your your payment than than um, Mazzoni on PayPal? Just say yes if you do, because I a payment came in and I think it was yours. Totally name unrelated to your YouTube name. Thirty six, thirty eight with Don. But I think it's you. And let us know if you're in or out. We have 38 bid. A creation that, that came out of one of those moments. 40 with Julianne. One of those moments when you do something and then you say, I shouldn't have done that. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I, th that's going to come back and get you, Rosie. You don't stack stuff like that. 42, Dawn. So it's going to be a weekend of fun. Trudy on Saturday, George on Sunday. And uh, awesome, awesome uh, anticipation about four weeks from now. Yes. I could sell sand to a desert. <laughs> okay. Julianne is out. Everybody's out. Okay. Dawn. Awesome. I'm giving it one number. Uh, what am I going to call it? Siamese. <laughs> Siamese Fenton. Number eight. Okay. Just, just saying. Sometimes. I, I probably will. The minute I go to pack it, it'll probably just uh, come apart and that'll be two for one. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do. Okay. Uh, I got a boxed item behind me, so we're going we're gonna to get rid of a bo couple boxes. People have some fun. Oh. Oh. I'm telling you. Wow, this is bigger than I thought it was. Oh, it looks pretty. It is pretty. We won't do nothing with that basket. No stacking there. This is a 10 inch basket, big one, Cracker Barrel exclusive. 2002. Blossoms and berries. So here's the tag that goes in there. Crackle Barrel Exclusive. It's a 10-inch basket. Yeah, Fenton did make stuff for Crackle Barrel for a while. Uh, back in the day. And this is pretty 10 inches tall. And I don't know if I can move this up. I'm going to gingerly try to move the camera. There we go. All right. Life adventures. Well, well, that's about as good as I can get it. But you see the design. All right, let's go ahead and start this at 15 and go. Okay, Swifty's going to do 20. I'm fine with that. Here we go. Get it all in there. I will. I can't get it all in there. I've tried twenty dollars. A crackle barrel exclusive. There it is. Berries. Now, who's the artist on this? Let's see what it says on the bottom. 
Melissa Kaplinger. Melissa currently is a caterer in Marietta. Yep, that is Melissa's. You met her a couple years ago. She actually catered the event that we put on for Dave Fetty. And she is a wonderful artist. 28 with Debbie. Ten inches tall. This is a large basket. That's why I'm having trouble fitting it in there. You see the little berries and the blooms. This is an exclusive made for Cracker Barrel. Only a few things. I think we have another Cracker Barrel piece somewhere around here. Um, Barb Rickle isn't at 30. Nancy's out. All right, Swifty, let me know if you're out. $30 is bid. With Barb Rickle. 32 is Swifty. Hi, Dan. I see ya. I see ya there. 32 with Swifty. Barb, let us know. So kind of a raw day yesterday. I was out and about all day, and I was kind of glad that I was. Um kind of driving around and stuff instead of being home. It was, it rained all day, that cold rain. Oh, gosh. I hope today it actually quits. They say we're in for a pretty good weekend. $32 for Swifty. That's number nine. Thank you, bidders. Cracker Barrel. And you got that one for 32. Cool. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. I have this little mouse. This is from my dear friend, Linda Fleming. Linda Fleming used to be a co-op artist. Now she's out on her own. This is a cute little mouse made, or Linda made for the NFGS. And no, N, yep, NFGS in 2022. Okay. So normally I would tell you these pieces, you are not vitrified. Linda is one of the on, only artists that I know that still vitrifies all her stuff, kiln fires, and uses paint that. That is, and I know Linda, Linda ethically would not use cold or uh, would not use oven paint. She wouldn't ethically do that. She is a uh, she is a fierce defender of kiln fire painting. So I can only assume with Linda doing this, and it, it looks like it's kiln fired. It's it's a kiln fired little mouse. It's a Mosser made mouse for the NFGS. 2022 by our prior co-op member, Linda Fleming. We sure do miss Linda around here. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. Let me see if I can get it in here now. It's violets in the snow, and we'll start this at 25. So cute. Here it is. Let's, yeah, let's, yeah, let's just sell this one by itself. Okay, so here it is. Violets in the snow. We have 25 bid. Linda was one of our co-op artists, I think for three, three, four years, I think. I can't remember exactly. She is uh, still selling on her own. And, and like I said, she does kiln fire so this is one of those pieces even though it was made for one of the groups and, and most of them don't kiln fire i i know linda i know she wouldn't she wouldn't she would not do it so we have 25 with swifty let me fix this camera here. there we go 
Well, it's got to be a monster mouse. Made for the groups. And it was a Fenton mold at one time, but it, I don't know who owns it now. The group probably owns the mold now. Cute as a Dickens. With violets all over it. Yep. Dated 2022. And you can always ask Linda, but I, Linda was, was committed to, um, spreading the word about firing and how important it was to kill fire paint on for it to be permanent. So I, I am confident that she's still doing that. Thirty with Mel. Thirty-two with Swifty. So let's see, there is something on the side, on the bottom here. It says uh, NFGS. So it does say NFGS. It's stamped right here too. So they they um, own this, this little mold probably. 35 with Malbro. Barb is out, $35 on the mouse. 37 with Swifty. Thirty-eight with Mel. We'll do a last chance. That is um, one of the national groups. That's one of the national groups, one of the national Fenton groups. There are two, the NFGS and the NFAGS, something like that. Okay. Uh, so, okay, Swifty's out. I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. Thank you, Mal. Okay, nice to see you this morning. Okay, did I put sold? I sure did, here we go. Okay, we are gonna do choice here. We got some stuff we need to choice out. The community sale this week is probably gonna be moved to Monday night. Too busy with Trudy on tomorrow to do it. Two cute little pieces here. Look at these in beautiful pink. Look at that. You're going to get your choice of either one. We had a, a vase like this on the community sale, this swirl vase, um, not this size. And that isn't that elegant looking. So to give you an idea, I think these are that's a seven inch base vase and a seven inch basket. They are perfectly colored together. They match. So um, this is a pink opal. Um, I don't know what color they call this pink, but it's a beautiful, almost a jewel tone pink. You're going to get your choice. And we'll start it out at 15. I'm going to move some little stuff this morning. I'm going to do another box item. See what we got in here. I need to burn these boxes, but the wind's going to blow 500 miles today. 500 miles an hour. Here we go. It does remind you of Fostoria, doesn't it? Yeah, I totally agree with you. But man, th these are so cute together. I can see these put together on a um, little you know, in a bedroom display. I love this pink and these match perfectly. Perfect. Two 
21, Nancy T. It's a beautiful pink. So the weather is so weird here in Michigan. They're saying our tulip festival in Holland, our little Dutch town in Michigan that's, that borders Lake Michigan that has a big tulip festival every year, thousands and thousands of tulips. They're saying if you go to the tulip festival when the tulip festival is supposed to be this year, there's not gonna be any tulips. We're that far ahead. Isn't that something? 26 Nancy T, 28 Swifty. This is for choice. Everything is so far ahead. 30 with Nancy T. Aren't they pretty together? Gosh, they are just beautiful. The basket is hobnail opal. The vase is a, is a it was made later. I think in the very I think in the very later years of Fenton, um, the factory being open. I think that's a a USA piece. Probably the last two or three years they were in business. Thirty three with Don Curtis. Thirty five with Swifty. So the sale with George on Sunday will have Fenton in it, but it's also going to have general vintage. I am bringing a beautiful Italian mosaic set, bracelet and earrings. It's just stupendous. I, I have told him for like six months, George, let's just do a general sale. Uh, so we will have Fenton in it, but it's going to be general vintage. I'll put some um, mid-century stuff in. Some I'll put a little bit of everything. That'll be Sunday night. Uh, Nancy is out. Dawn is in at 37. Swifty, let me know. Bitter will get choice. Just, yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. He's just coming back from Mexico and he's he's on a, a flight home and he says it's going to be very late that he gets in. So we're going to catch up with him, give him a couple a couple extra days to get refreshed and, and back into reality. <laughs> Don Curtis. Which one's Don? The vase or the basket, or both. You'll take the vase. Okay. You have a shorter one. Wow. And Swifty, we have a beautiful basket. If you want that one. The price is 37 All right. I'm going to go back and see if I have another one of those. I may. So this is up for grabs if anybody wants it. It's 37. Nope. I thought I saw one, but I didn't. Okay. Nobody wanted that one. Okay. Um, I kind of figured everybody wanted the other the uh, other vase. I'll do 25 on the basket. If anybody wants it, 25. All 
That's a great deal. Barb Rickle. Number 12. Okay. <clears throat> I keep putting these the wrong way. I want to put them over here. Next up. Yes, you see it. What a beautiful basket. What a beautiful basket. Here we go. Look at this. Frit, dragonflies, purple, teal, it's got it all. All, got it all too, look at that. All of the Fenton signatures on the bottom. This is a new century collection. Bill, Don, Randy, Chris, Shirley. I didn't know there was so many Fentons. Thomas, Michael, Nancy, Lynn, Scott, and there's one I can't read. Uh, the painter is Sunday Davis. The painter is Sunday Davis. It is 10 inches tall. The, the painter has signed it. $30 to start it. Look at all the frit. This is a special basket, goodness with the original Fenton sticker. The artist has signed it under one of the flowers. That's where you frame her signature, Sunday Davis. She usually doesn't put Sunday. That's kind of rare for her to, to put her first name. Usually you'll see S Davis. She has put her full name, Sunday Davis. And look at the bottom, 10 inches tall. Look at the, there's the dragonfly. I think this is such a pretty color combination. I'm going to move this over here and put it up. Now you can see it. I have such a hard time moving this. There we go. Now you can see it. Here we go. Moved it over by me here. Still won't fit in there. It's a big basket. I've got the camera pretty much right underneath me trying to fit it in there. It's it's big. It's it's 10 or 11 inches tall. All right, here we go. It's gorgeous. It most certainly is. 347. Oh yes. Look at look at the purple handle. Amethyst, the amethyst crest. It's opalized. Look at that. Gorgeous frit all the way around it. And a dragonfly. It's beautiful. $50 is bid. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Geneva. The, this color combination is just crazy cool. Fifty-two Swifty. Oh, I'm telling you, uh, I'm telling you, sisters. This is a great price for this basket, um, and it is it is so beautiful. I mean, a must for your collection. It's just one of those that stands right out because the color combination is so unusual, and it has all the signatures on it. 54 with Mary.
All right, Mary's at 54. Christine Smith is at 53. Hi, Christine. Oh, Swifty, you're right. Swifty was in there first, came in after I... I... Actually, Swifty came in at 56, Christine. In the timeline. Sometimes being on different venues, a, a bit will slip in there. So um, Swifty was our first 56, Christine. I'm sorry about that. We got to go a little higher than that. Mary's out. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, I Does anybody remember what else they did in this? I, it seems to me I, I remember seeing a Rose Bowl, but I don't. I don't think there were very many pieces with this color combination. I, I don't even know if I remember seeing a Rose Bowl. I'm trying to think. Sixty with Christine. You guys are saving your money for Trude. Oh, she'll appreciate that. <laughs> All right. $60 with Christine and Swifty is out. Okay. Well, last chance. Here is our bid. It's sold. It's sold. It's delightful. And Christine gets it. Okay. This is an early piece. This is before, this is blue satin. It does have a logo on it, but I think it's pretty, it's a, it's a, we'll call it a classic piece of satin. And if you, if you collect blue satin, I think this is a, a more harder piece to find. It's the ginger jar. Look at the beautiful, man, is this very well painted. Not only does it have a front and a back, that's larger than most paintings. It has two bouquets on the side. So, I mean, seriously, look at the work in this. I can't believe this was a production piece. Hand painted by S. Mullins. It's about seven, eight inches tall and it is a ginger jar in blue satin. Wow. I hope you can see the blue. Isn't that pretty? We're going to start this one at 30. Look at the work in this piece. Mel Bro is going to start us out. Thanks, Mel. I mean, seriously, usually they just put, you know, the big bouquet on one side and the little bud bouquet on, on the reverse side. This one has four different bouquets all the way around. In blue satin, it is a ginger jar. It's a two-piece ginger jar set. You, you can put a tea light in there that you'll see the light right through that glass. It's blue satin, very soft feel. Well, it's one of the prettiest ones I've ever seen. You're right, Happy. It looks great with the tea light in it. 35 with Melbro. But have you seen one with so much painting on it? Thirty-seven with Swifty.
It's the prettiest blue roses on blue satin I've seen too. I mean, it's hard to believe this was a production piece because of the work. I mean, it's, look at that. Blue roses, tiny little forget-me-nots on each bouquet. 45 with Melbro. Forty-eight with Swifty. Fifty with Melbro. Hi, Yvonne. The painter is S. Mullins. S. Mullins. Fifty-three with, with uh, Swifty. Mel is out. Okay. Yvonne is out. Swifties at 43 or 53. Marcy, let us know. You're going to be hard pressed to find this. There's lots of blue satin. You don't see a lot of ginger jars. You just don't. And especially not as in painted as much as this one is. It's beautiful. One of the most finely decorated pieces Miss Rickle has seen. In a very long time. Yes, indeed. I ha I have to agree with her. Marcy's at 55. Swifty's at 56. It reminds me of a Linda, Linda Fleming piece. She does beautiful roses. 58 with Marcy. 58 with Marcy. And Swifty, let us know. Don't let it go if you're a blue satin collector. This is just gorgeous. And if you're a blue satin collector, you know you've been looking for this piece. 60 with Swifty. 50. Pretty, pretty. Yeah. Yep. 62 with Marcy. So yeah, um, I, I did buy a bunch of Stife animals um, yesterday and um, I got a whole collection of them. And I think with George, I'm going to put in the kitties. So we'll have some, some little kitty Stice, some kitty Stice. And uh, the sale with George, I'm going to put some unique and different stuff in. So it'll be pretty darn fun. Just remember us, we're, we're going to start at 8 o'clock, so you, you should have all your supper done, all your dishes done, all your day's work done. Sit down and tune us in, Saturday and Sunday night. All right, Swifty is in at 65. Um, some people said they were out. They're still bidding. So 67 with Mel Bro. They are talented. And Trudy is kind of like me. You're, she's going to put some stuff in that sale that you haven't seen. I know she's feverishly working today. I know she is. Eight o'clock. Yeah, eight o'clock. My time, Eastern. Linda's still painting. She's just, she's painting solo. Sixty-seven with Mel Bro. And who? Okay, and uh, okay, so Yvonne, I'm gonna make sure that you're out. I think.
Thank you, Yvonne. It's the only one we're waiting for now. Thank you for the bids. Mel's at 67, waiting for Yvonne. I'll go ahead and do a last chance again. And I'll highlight her bid here. Deanna, thank you. Have you been watching long, Deanna? That's an awful nice thing to say. Thank you. Yeah, uh, she's not she's not out there like she like she used to be. You know, when she's got when she's when she was with us, she had we were on once a month. So she's just she's getting older. She loves her garden in the summertime. So I'm 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 thinking that that's what she's doing. She had a little arthritis in her hands, if you remember. All right. In the background, we sold all of that stuff, all the carnival stuff. We sold that the other night. I just haven't moved it over yet to shipping. Yep. Okay, sold it to our lucky winner, Mel Bro. Awesome. She's, I think you scored twice today. Yes. Okay. And I already put a sticker on that. I think I did. And the price was 67. Maybe I did. I thought I put a sticker on it, but I don't see. Oh, 14. Oops, this way. Okay. I got 12. Let's let's open a box. I got some boxes here. So let's let's open a box. This, this does Cracker Barrel too. This is the other piece. This is Cracker Barrel 2002. Wow. So this kind of matches the basket. This is the berries and the blossoms. This is Cracker Barrel 2 for Cracker Barrel. A Vicki Anderson. Yay. So we have that. And I'm going to do another one. It's kind of sad. It cleaned out the trailer. I don't, the box items. I don't have too many box items left. Let's see what this one is. Oh, a Violet Temple Bell. Oh my gosh, do they look pretty together? Look at that. Look at how, this is not done on purpose. Look at how beautiful these two pieces look together. The purple matches the berries in the glass. Now, where's that box I just had? It told me all about it. So the bell is from 1999. It's a temple bell on violet satin. And it's from the historic collection was only produced for a portion of one year in 1999 in this color. I have swung bases. I don't know which ones are Fenton. I, I see some sitting here. I suppose I could put some up, but I, I just I just sold. Oh, I'm looking at them right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. I, I just sold a dozen of them. On Tuesday night, I'm gonna put I'll put a couple swung vases in with George. How's that sound on Sunday night? Okay, twenty dollars. This is gonna be for choice. Look at that. You know that is such a. I I would love to collect those two colors together. That violet with like a French opal that picks. Look at the berries. They are so pretty together. Okay, twenty dollars. Here we go. You take my eyes off of them. The bell is iridized violet. The little rose bowl is a cracker barrel exclusive. 
and you are getting one or the other. They are really pretty together. I, I literally, you can see me. I can't stop looking at them. Twenty-five, Patty. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Can't wait to see ya. It's gonna be a month. It's gonna be a month. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight with Swifty. Patty is in at thirty. Swifty, Dora, Kathy, let me know. This is going to be for choice. Thirty-two is Swift. The Temple Bell Bell. <laughs> or the Cracker Barrel Exclusive Rose Bowl, which Cracker Barrel did four items in this pattern, or Fenton did four items in this pattern for Cracker Barrel. They did the melon vase, the basket, the frog, and the bowl. So they only did four. Patty's in at 34. Kathy's out. Swifty, let us know. Thirty six was Swift. Welcome, eighty peeps. Please, please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. A lot going on in the next four weeks. You don't want to miss any of it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And give us a thumbs up. That's how our channel grows. Thank you. Okay. Patty's out. Thank you, Patty. Kathy's out. All right. All in, all done. I think we're all set. Swifty, 36. One or two. The bell or the bowl. The bowl, okay. That's number 15. Who wants the bell? Who who bought that other basket? Oh, Swifty, you bought the basket too. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that with the with look at look at how pretty this is. Look at how pretty that is together. You sure you don't want that bell? Okay, Swifty gets that one for 30. Uh, Swifty, I'll do the bell for you for 30. You don't feel like you have to take it. If you don't want it, I'm going to put it back. So Swifty gets the bolt, Cracker Barrel Bowl. All right, good. Oh, that makes me happy. I'm telling you, when you see those together... That makes me happy that you're getting those because they're just so pretty. I don't I don't mean to pressure you. It's it's just I'm I'm looking at them here. I know I put a number on that. Oh, there it is, 16. 
they're good. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a beautiful display altogether. You are right. I, I couldn't bear that you didn't take them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sell this little bird singly just because he is so pretty in cobalt. I was going to have him painted, but then I got to looking at him and I thought, he's, the glass is just beautiful. He is in cobalt. I wish I had, you know what? I think he's going to glow. Let me go back and I think my, my black light is back in my auction booth. Let me go back and look. I think he might glow. Can't guarantee it. I don't know where it is. For any of you that have been here at uh, Drummies, you understand. If I set something down and leave it a couple days, I can't find it. But this might glow. This might glow that green. I can see a little green in it. But you're selling. You're, we're buying it as it is. And this, we're going to go ahead and start this at 20. I like that kind of bird. Yeah, I think it's a cardinal. No, this is a blue jay. Of course it is. It's a blue jay. And I'll find that immediately after I stop selling. I know I will. I carry things back and forth. Nope. But I bet it glows green. I, I just have this feeling. I can see a little bit of green in it. No, I don't know where it is. We ain't going to look. Okay. We ain't going to look. But I see a little green in this tail. So I am 95% certain. Dang, that dang mouse, I know. He takes everything. He takes everything. All right. Here we go. Oh, you guys are busy on this one. Here we go. So the community sale we've been having on Saturday nights is not going to happen this week because Trudy's on with me. So we'll probably move the community sale that's on Facebook to Monday night. Kind of weird, but 40 with Robin. Can you tell, can you tell I'm just a disorganized mess right now because I'm moving and cleaning stuff. If I, if I didn't have to clean and move stuff around, I'd know where everything was. All right, 42, Yvonne. You move it, you lose it. Around here, I'm telling you. 46, Yvonne. Pretty little blue jay in cobalt. 46 dollars is bid. It is it the wind is starting to get gusty out there. I, I don't know, it's so weird. I mean, it's April 12th and the trees are budding there i actually see outside in the apple tree the leaves are the leaves have popped out you received a vase from me yesterday and you're checking it for water and you were laughing yeah for those of you that don't know it is an absolute certainty if i'm at home 
and I sell a, a piece of glass and I turn it upside down, I get a lap full of water because I just washed it and I don't take, get all the water out of it. It's hilarious. It happens every single time. <laughs> Yvonne is out. Thanks for what you did do, Yvonne. You checked your screen. There won't be mice in it. I can tell you that. <laughs> Unless they're glass. All right. Robin gets it. Thank you, Robin. Going to Lanson. Robin, let me know if... if uh, you want a few extra flyers for Teak Stock if you're out and about, maybe at a grocery store or an antique mall or something, and you want to post some flyers for me for Teak Stock? You're close enough. Just let me know. If you do, I'll throw them in your, I'll throw them in with your bird. <laughs> Robin Chapman gets the bird, so, uh, number 17. Okay. Sure. Okay. No big deal. We just got a month. So maybe I'll give you an, an extra 10. And if you, you know, stick them in your purse and you see a bulletin board or something or know somebody who might be interested in coming, you're close enough. I'm going to put down to send some flyers. Okay. I'll post some flyers for you, Swifty. Okay, Swifty, I'll, I'll put a note on yours too. More flyers. They're just, they're just the little um, postcard type things I put on your boxes. Okay. All right. We're going to do a um, choice here. There's going to be two items. Uh, this probably will be the last of the day. We'll see what, we'll see what time we're looking at here. Choice. We'll start these at 15. And here is a square blue opal basket. This is classic Fenton. No logo. That is a, a nine inch basket. There we go. And this is a diamond point. Is that what they call that pattern? A little diamond point blue opal vase, different, different style vase here. And this one also is a classic, no logo. So you're gonna get your choice. We'll start them at 15. New England Cajun. Here's Johnny. Hi, hello there. <laughs> You'll get your choice. The vase is a wide vase. It's about seven inches tall. And here we go. I don't think they'll both fit on there. So there is the vase. Here is the basket. So you're not going to see the handle. It's so tall, but um, I'm going to show it to you this way. Bamboo handle, and you'll notice that it is square. The mouth of it is square, and it's a tall basket. It's nine inches. You'll get your choice. Barb Rickles in at 15. Big weekend coming up. Remember us. Saturday and Sunday. I am hosting two of the great ones, Trudy. On Saturday night, George the Antique Nomad on Sunday night. Always interesting conversation, even if you're not, if, if you don't want to buy, if you just want to come in and you don't need to buy. Um, the conversation is just awesome. We'll talk about uh, old times at the factory at Fenton. Trudy was there 50 years. Um, she's got stories to tell. George, of course, we know George. George, we're going to have a great time. Um, he cur he uh, he will uh, tell you all kinds of stories about things that we're selling. He knows the history and everything. And he will be with us on Sunday night. A switch. I, I don't think I've done a Sunday night sale in a while. Barb is in at 22. 
24 with Nancy T. The basket or the bowl? Twenty six. I could do another lot with tangerine. If in, if anybody wants me to do another lot with tangerine, let me know. Just say tangerine. I got an ashtray and a compote. Twenty seven with Nancy T. Twenty eight with Sherry Bex. 29 with Nancy. Barb, Barb, we already got 29. Sherry Bex is in at 30. Thirty one with Nancy. Thirty three with Sherry. Thirty-five with Barb. Nancy is out. Barb is out. Sherry Betts, let us know. Barb, okay, Barb Rickles in. Okay, okay, Ethel. Sherry Betts is out. Oh, nope. She decided 36. She's going to go one more time. Okay. Barb Riggle is out. Sherry Bax, you're the winner. Let me know which one or both. Rickle will be the backup. We didn't have much love for the tangerine. Is that still the only one? The basket. Okay. And Barb, would you like this one? I think they call that diamond point. I'm, I'm not sure. Somebody might help me out on that. That goes to Sherry Bex. Okay, does anybody want this one? The price was 36. So that one's up for grabs if you want to claim it. Okay, we will pass on that one. All right, if you want it, just claim the blue basket. Nobody, anybody else want tangerine? We have to have more than just Ethel. I don't have my glowy, but we know this glows. Okay. You don't know what tangerine is. Let's look at this. This beautiful, I call it tangerine. I think they call it colonial orange. So this is going to glow that cadmium orange. We know this. And then we have this beautiful ashtray. This will also glow cadmium. And we'll start it at 10. And I'll sell at least one. Okay, so I'm starting it at 10. I'll sell at least one. The ashtray is about six inches across, beautiful colonial orange. 
and the compote is about seven. It's going to glow cadmium orange. And Debbie's going to start us out at 10. I will sell at least one. Here we go. See, the, it, it has like a, a tangerine color and there's yellow in it. You, you'll see it here too. See it? Beautiful hobnail compote. Free logoed piece. I'll sell at least one. And then this ashtray. This ashtray is way too cool. $12 with Barb. There is the compote. It glows cadmium. Oh, I do too. You don't need to, you don't, this could, this could be a trinket dish or um, anything. You could put anything in this. I mean, it is so gorgeous. Have a great day, sisters. We have $17 with Ethel. Here is the ashtray. Here is the compote. Tammy, let us know. Swifty, let us know. 18 with Tammy. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. We got a new subscriber. Yay. Let's see if we can get another one. Twenty with Ethel, twenty-two with Tammy, twenty-five with Dawn, <clears throat> twenty-eight with Tammy. Thanks for what you did do. Okay, everybody is out. Tammy's at twenty-eight. Our backup bidder at this point is going to be Dawn. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be interested to see what Tammy takes. Your choice, girl. Take them both if you want. Don Curtis is the backup. Ashtray goes to Tammy. Number 19. Don, did you want the compote? I'll do 25 on the compote. Anybody wants it because it's the last item of the day. Just claim it. Got to get working today. I got to get working. I need to work hard today. I need to get this carnival glass over to shipping. I think everybody paid. Everybody paid for the carnival glass. Except for Mickey. Everybody else. And that was pretty darn quick. $25 on the compote. Who wants it? Who wants it? Nobody wants it for $25. Okay, that's all right. We'll let her sit. Okay, I'm going to go start my day. Have a great one. Remember, remember, both evenings this weekend are going to be great, great sales. Um, if you want the compote, you can, if you're, if you're rewatching this, you can comment that you want it and I will definitely sell that to you. So if you see that and decide you want it for, oh, great piece, Tammy. If you see that and you want it, just let me know. Um, anyway, Trudy Saturday, George Sunday, Monday. I'm, I think I'm going to be outside Monday. It's going to be beautiful. I think I'm going to be outside in the trailer, but we'll see how that goes. Have a great, great start of the weekend and we'll see you saturday night later gators thank you see ya